were lucky enough to get a grant to develop uh, the framework courses in the arts and humanities, the art of looking, the art of listening, and the art of reading. And we started them this uh, spring as graduate seminars in general education. And we are preparing them uh, as proposals for the program in general education for undergraduates. What's happening in these classes and what will happen as they become general education courses is that they will uh, bring to our undergraduates attention the complexity of these apparently simple processes and making our students aware of uh, how much uh, happens and how much they're called upon to do when they look, listen, read and giving them the tools to be lucid, even astute lookers, listeners, readers. What's making these courses a success already is the a double experience of teaching the material to graduate students, and that's a sort of cognitive epistemological experience, uh, and then at the same time thinking about the pedagogical implications of uh, inserting that epistemological experience into an undergraduate class. So in many ways it's the perfect marriage of research and teaching. Another aspect of this grant that we are very excited about is that it has made available to the team of colleagues teaching the courses, the very rich resources of the box center, the libraries, we have IT, uh, and many of our uh, classes are split between the material we're teaching and visits from our colleagues in these organizations who uh, give us a sense of what could be done with our extraordinary resources. In the future, we would love it if we were so successful that this became a model that could be replicated. The idea uh, is that they are framework courses, and they, uh, as, as such, they are a structure into which you could insert other content. They're also pathways, gateways, uh, the idea is uh, to create teaching uh, forms that are inviting, that lead the students in, and that show them not only the path into what we do, but paths beyond that into other uh, courses in the arts and humanities.